Oh, this video is going to show you how to improve your balance in just a couple of weeks. The first one is simply stand on your right leg as long as you can. Make sure you have something safe. You can do it in the corner just like we just did. You can do it at the kitchen counter, whatever you safe you feel want to feel safe with. Make sure you practice on both legs. Safe you feel want to feel safe with. Make sure you practice on both legs. In your ankles or you feel tired, just stop. The second exercise, you're going to have, if you have a walker, you're going to hold on to that, a walking stick, a wall. And what we're going to do is just go up on your toes as high as you can, and then back, rack up on the heels. Okay, make sure you have something steady to hold yourself because when you go backwards, that would be a good time for losing your balance. We do not want that for sure. Do these 10 to 15 repetitions. You might find your anchors are so weak, you're gonna have a hard time getting up on those toes or this way. Do the best you can. These muscles will strengthen, which is gonna help your balance. Now the next exercise to add, Brad likes to call Ziggy Zaggies. I don't know their real names. So well, this is for strengthening the smaller ankles and the side of your ankles, and it's very effective. So I'm pretending this is a countertop. I'm holding on to it for balance, and what I'm going to do is bring both my toes in one direction, and then I'm going to flip my heels over into that same direction. So we're doing a ziggy zaggy. You want to make sure to perform these going both directions. And Brad, is it better to do these in shoes or socks? That's an excellent question. Better to do them with shoes on. You can do it on a carpet or on a smooth floor, it's gonna determine how much resistance you have in your ankles. So do it with whichever works best for you. It's, a, it's much more difficult than it looks and it's really good for exercise or balance in the sideways directions, if you will. And you can just go down and back your countertop three times and do it a couple times a day. That's right. Put that under your foot and we're gonna stand on that. Again, you're going to have to have a chair in front of you to hold or a walker and then simply stand there. Now the cushion is going to make your ankle muscles and the proprioception, that's your balance in your mind, the neurals, the neurology of it, and that's going to really challenge things. It's harder, isn't it, Mike? Yes. Now if you happen to have, now this is what therapists use, a cushion like this is a Pete's Choice, and uh, it just works better than one of those, but you don't have to purchase one by any means. But now when we look at it, look at a close-up of how the ankle muscles are working back and forth, and it really fatigues the ankles. Good for strengthening, balance, just like I mentioned. 30 seconds each foot, two to three times, and twice daily.